Hi, good morning from London, England to wherever you are around the world. That's to your ladies, to the gentlemen, to the boys, to the girls. Your host again, your guy himself, DLG Reppin. I'm here to bring you the latest um, football context and um, keeping it real, really. Um, hope you enjoyed my last video. And um, if you want to um, give us some feedback, I'm open to all feedback. Well, I'm open to only positive feedbacks. And the negative ones, I'll read it and then I'll just delete it. So I'm not into the negativity. So, um, what was I going to say? So, um, I'm just bringing you a couple of footballing contexts. Um, Frank Lampard has said that uh, Romovich has always had his uh, had, um, he's he's always um, had the support. I'm going to be talking about what Frank Lampard said um, from yesterday, and uh, I'm going to be talking about um, today's um, transfer talk. So, um, if you want to smash the thumbs up like button, that'll be really appre uh, that'll be appreciated. I'd really appreciate if you can smash, yeah, I should say, I really appreciate if you can smash the thumbs up like button and I appreciate if you can smash my subscribe button left, right and centre galore. Um, as much as um, possible with that subscribe button, that will help the channel grow. The thumbs up and the comments, yeah, I would appreciate the comments always, but I would appreciate... Um, the subscribe button, of course, I would. The reason why, because that's how the channel grows, and that's how um, my conversation with you guys all over the world grows. And um, I'll be bringing you the latest football context around the world of football, if I can get it <coughs> out. Of, I mean, out of England, that is. Other than that, um, let me just start off by reading um, the sub, the head title, which is um, I always feel. I always feel Abramovich's support. So Lampard said that he's felt his support, even though he hasn't been in England through um, visa issues. Well, let me read on. Frank Lampard says he always feels the support of Roman Abramovich after the owner's rare appearance at Chelsea's 4 0 away win. A 4 0 win away to FK Krasnoda, if I've pronounced that right, in Russia. Chelsea owner Roman Abramovich has been unable to attend matches at Stamford Bridge in recent times because of UK <coughs> because of UK visa issues, but was among a near eleven thousand crowd to see Lampard's side win. To have him here is a nice bonus for myself and the squad. Lampard said, "I am very pleased we put on what I thought was a good performance. It must have been." A good performance and a good night, winning four nil away from home to a team that, let's be honest, Chelsea are expected to um, wipe the floor with. And um, it was nice to see um, Hakim Zayek on the score sheet, along with Werner. So, and I've forgotten the other two goal scorers, but um, Chelsea fans. Um, Jump on and um, tell me about um, your win and um, give us your feedback in my comment section below and tell me the um, the next the other two scorers because I can only remember Hakim Zayek and um, Timo Werner scoring. So I really appreciate if you can do that for me. Thank you. Moving on to um, Thursday's transfer gossip. Well, we have here Manchester United are considering a five-year deal to bring AC Milan's Turkish international midfielder Hakan Kahagnoglu. If that's how you pronounce his name, or probably um, motherly up. Um, this is a very top talented. Um, well, this is a talented but top quality midfield player. <coughs> 
and uh, Manchester United are interested in him. And that's according to the Gazeta de la Sports. I remember um, watching him play. I remember, yeah, watching Arsenal against him in two legs. And um, in the second leg, um, he was a problem. And he, he did cause us some problems, you know, in that midfield. He had he had um, control of it, and he he was dictating. Um, yeah, he was he was just dictating play, and controlling um, sp some spells of the midfield. And he is um, a very highly um, rated midfield. Um, um, well, yeah, very highly rated in um, Serie A, Italy. And um, for me, at twenty six, he could. Um, do bits here in the Premier League. So let's see what happens from there. Kahaglu is due to discuss his future next month with Milan, according to the Mail. And um, Liverpool target David Alaba could be set for a move from Bayern Munich after talks with um, Bayern Munich collapsed. And that's based on his contract. And that's according to Bill via Daily Mail. Now, here's another bit of news here. According to TalkSport, um, Tottenham Hotspur's hopes of agreeing a new contract with um, Hing Min Son have been boasted after the South Korea joined the same agency as Jose Mourinho. Well, that might be that might be the case, but um, how he feels inside is another feeling. You see, you know, Son's a man, and if he wants to leave Tottenham. He will dis he will discuss that with the club and he will be open and honest with the club. Yeah, talks are ongoing to get this man to sign a new contract. But for me, it won't have any influence in what um Son's um, ongoing contract says. So for me, I just think he's um gonna um let the negotiators do their part. Well, Son does his part and then perf keeps performing for Tottenham. That's all he can do. And this is a good one for Barcelona fans here. Um, Barcelona's hopes of keeping Argentine for Lionel Messi has been given a significant boost by Josep Maria Bartomeu's resignation as president. Written by someone in the Daily Telegraph. Yeah, we know that um, Maria Bartomeu has... Um, resigned as a chairman well according to former Arsenal manager Arsene Wenger he believes um, a potential super European Super League will destroy the um, Premier League you know he may have a point I think he has a point here you know it will completely destroy the Premier League and what for the sake of more greed it's despicable they want to um, consider this. Just leave leave it the way it is. What, what, what's this European Super League all about? Why? It's all money. It has no bearing. It makes completely utter no sense. Complete bollocks. Fucking leave it how it is. These people who run football, they're not football people. They're just silly cunts. Just small silly cunts. What, what can I say? can't prevent it from happening so we just um have to grin and bear it so um i'm going to wrap it up here and um once again thank the ladies to the gentlemen to the boys to the girls for watching thank you for listening and thank you for tuning in um i'll be back this afternoon with a, another dose of football content other than that, um, some of you may be asleep, some of you may be awake. So if you're asleep, um, keep sleeping well. Um, I'll say good morning from London, England to you guys, wherever you are in the world. Or it might be good afternoon, wherever you are, or it might be good evening where you are. However, um... I'd like to say enjoy your day and I'm gone from here. See you later. Nice.